What's up, party people? Today I am going to be reviewing a sequel to the movie of Laid to Rest, um, titled Chrome Skull, Laid to Rest 2. Now, I'm still wearing my shirt, because this shirt is super badass, and you need to go to Fright Rags and get this shirt. Actually, I think it's in the graveyard. I'm not sure. Um, resurrect it from the graveyard. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about because you've never been to Fright Rags before, I'm probably making myself sound like an idiot. But, um, yeah, Chrome School Laid to Rest 2. Chrome School is, again, a really badass, um, Matt Killer. Like, he, he has a video camera on, on, the, on his shoulder and he has, like, this super big-ass blade and he wears this awesome mask. Um... I really enjoyed the first one, and, um, I gotta say I really did enjoy the sequel as well. However, I do gotta admit that Chrome Skull 2 is not as effective as the first one. Um, it's actually quite different. In this one, um, Chrome Skull teams up with a guy named Preston. Now, Preston joins Chrome Skull on his, on their killing spree, where, but basically, this one they just go like house to house, causing murders, and you see it like through the little video camera. Um, it's pretty interesting, but it's not as good as this one. I think this one had a much better plot, but this one was still really good. And like the last forty minutes were really awesome when they go and like. Never mind. I'm gonna spoil it for you. I'm not, I don't want to do that because some of you probably haven't seen this yet. But um, you should go see this one. But you need to watch the first one first, obviously. Preston in here, the guy who's teaming up with Chrome Skull, uh, that's a pretty cool idea, but I was kind of looking for something a little more like the original, with where, like, it doesn't really focus on the main killer. Like, this movie, it's all focused on, um, Chrome Skull and Preston, pretty much. Like, it, it's not, um, through the, through the victim's point of view, where they're, like, trying to get away from him. It's more of, like, what, like, what they're doing, and, um... Again, it's a really, really good movie. I I really liked it. I did not, however, enjoy it as much as the first one, but I still really enjoyed it. To me, the kills in this one were just a slightly bit gorier. Um, really graphic kills in this one. Really awesome, like, traps and, like, devices, or, like, uh, not devices, weapons. Uh, it's just really very bloody. This guy says, best kills ever. Alright, okay. I can see where he's going there, but, um... Yeah, very bloody. Very, um... Bloodier than the first one. Although Chrome Skull is a very fun and entertaining B-horror flick, um... To me, it's still just a... Not as great as the first one. Just a little... The first one's a little bit better, but, um... Overall, I'm still gonna go ahead and give Chrome Skull 4 out of 5 stars. Why? Because... Well... I mean, you just, it's kind of hard to explain, but these two are really awesome. Um, I just decided to give it four stars because it just, I don't know, I, I, I really liked it. Um, I liked the first one just a little bit better. I already told you that, didn't I? Like a thousand times. Anyways, but yeah, Chrome School, um, Laid to Rest 2, Robert Hall. Check him out. Apparently he makes really awesome movies. But anyway guys, I kind of got off the track there. But anyways, I gave this one four stars because, um, it's very, I like, I like the blood and gore in this one. Like, these two kind of have, like, I like them for a different reason. This one I like it because of, like, the, uh, I just like the atmosphere of this one. But this one had some really graphic kills and it was really awesome, so... I kind of like both of them the same in a way, but I still like this one. I enjoy this one a little more. But that's about it for uh, Chrome School. Yeah. Alright, guys. Leave a comment down below on what movie I should review next. I'm Jacob Palacio, and I will see you guys later.